David, uh, what President Obama inherited on January 20th was a profoundly difficult set of economic problems. We've put in place uh, what I think is the most aggressive response to a economic downturn that our country's ever seen. I think we do have to be concerned that too often over the last generation, our prosperity has become bubble dependent. Look, I think you have to step back. There is a way of judging summits, which is frankly the way you and the press are partial to. If you look at the situation of the United States, vis-a-vis -vis the situation of the remainder of the industrialized world, vis-a-vis -vis Europe and Japan. We've got our problems, but frankly, you've got to like our hand in terms of debt problems, in terms of underlying innovativeness and competitiveness. I don't think we've got anything to apologize for vis-a-vis -vis the remainder of the industrialized world in terms of the commitment that we have maintained uh, to growth. The rest of the world does need to recognize that no small part of their growth has been fueled uh, by our spending. And ultimately, there's going to be one thing that's most important. And that is going to be how the world sees the power of our example. And that's going to depend on our success in a strategy of domestic renewal, whether it goes to the future of the healthcare system, whether it goes to the future of the education system, whether it goes to whether we stay a center of science, whether it goes to whether we resolve successfully the question of how long the world's greatest borrower can stay the world's greatest power. Because the one thing that all economists can agree on is that the total level of exports is equal to the total level of imports. And so the, though it's not, I recognize, I recognize any official statistics, it the measures do not support, uh, do, not, uh, do, not, uh, do not support, do not support that view. So it seems to me that the idea that um, going through the kind of difficult adjustments that Germany went through um, five to 10 years ago is a universal salvation. Uh, for Europe is uh, quite misguided. The deficit challenge remains a challenge uh, for uh, the country, but addressing it too rapidly is not wise. My guess is that when the history is written 15 or 20 years from now, um, the huge change in the fossil fuel environment, in fossil fuel potential uh, in the U.S. economy will be judged to have been somewhat more economically significant, though perhaps slightly less geopolitically significant than the current conventional wisdom has it. The day when we achieve so-called energy independence is not a day when we will achieve insulation from uh, the world oil market, which will still fluctuate. So international financial architecture, business practices, future surpluses would be probably three areas that I would uh, regard as especially central.